Hello friends, this is Sakshi Agarwal and I am presenting before you the selection process for the post-doc rural management and legal training at EIC that is Agriculture, Agriculture Insurance Company of India Limited. The selection process over here, process over here comprises of two stages that is the online examination and the interview. After the interview, there is a pre-requited medical examination that is compulsory collected for every selected candidate. The online examination is conducted in six phases or I can say there are six steps to for this online examination. First, when you go for this uh, for the examination, when you, the examination starts, the test starts, there you will be required to give a handwriting sample. The, a statement appears on the screen which you need to write on your admit card and submit it to the invigilator. In the, after of the handwriting sample, the duration of time of 15 minutes starts where you need to answer the questions of reasoning, lang English language, general awareness and cognitive aptitude. There are 10 questions of one mark each from each of the following sections and they are in a bilingual language that is you, the answer, question ca can be answered either in English or Hindi. After these 50 minutes are over, the examiner tear that computer itself takes you to the professional test for for in a case that is legal test and it's time of 70 minutes start please note over here that you cannot go back to the previous section that is you not cannot go back to the uh, to, to your reasoning general awareness language quality aptitude uh, section and you have to confine yourself to the law only after this professional test uh, 50, 70 minutes are over you come to descriptive part there where you have three options among the three questions you need to answer any one of the question in time frame of 15 minutes and you cannot go back to the previous sections so if after every you proceed to every, for the next section you you leave behind the previous section and this is how a test is conducted over the period of 125 minutes that is 2 hours and 15 minutes roughly coming to the uh, first test of reasoning and test of english language test of reasoning and english language both i would say the questions were on an easier side this time in the reasoning, you have questions from distance, dialogism, sitting arrangement, uh, blood relations. There was number, uh, number series were there. So these type of questions were there were on the easier side only. And English language also, you have questions from sentence errors, reading comprehension. You have active passes, spelling errors to be checked. So overall, English, simple English was asked. But when you come to the other part, that is general awareness, quantitative aptitude. These two sections were on the difficulty level over here was slightly higher. For example, in general awareness, the questions were asked for like who won the Dronacharya Award in last year, who is the most powerful women in uh, according to Forbes. Then there were questions related to schemes. Then there were questions related to the mainly the current affairs we need to study was of uh, last four to five months. So suppose this exam was conducted on 13th of May this year, and the questions were asked from. December 2022 and January 2023. So this is 4-5 months back and if you are well versed, you can answer these questions. Coming to the aptitude part, quantitative aptitude part, here the questions were asked on simple interest, ratio proportions, number system, algebraic questions were there, profit and loss were there. So and these questions were slightly on tougher side that you need to take, you take the uh, take time. Uh, the level of the questions can be like at the banking uh, entrance level. So. You can say it's a diff uh, slightly difficult part. Coming to the main section, that is the legal section that we uh, focus on. There are 50 questions of 2 marks each and there were 70 minutes. Time was enough. You have enough time, you can answer the question easily. Uh, there was no shortage of time. Coming to the subjects that, that were asked, in constitution law, there were 8 to 9 questions. Uh, just a disclaimer over here, uh, a point to be noted that in constitutional law, Indian Penal Code, CPC and Evidence. Mark my words, Constitutional Law, Indian Penal Code, CPC and Evidence. The questions asked were simply easier. They were not on a difficult side. They were like the questions from the basic reading of the barrack. From like from the evidence question asked was uh, what is a public document? What is a document? They gave us uh, four or five statements were there you need to answer which is uh, what is a document according to the evidence law. Constitution law, there were questions related to double jeopardy, which section, which article it is, what doctrine it is. So, questions were on a C, uh, easier part. For Indian Penal Code, the questions were on Dolly in Capex, uh, section 82. So, you can see questions were on the easier side. But when we come to other subjects like transfer property law, 
contract law, company law, and uh, banking insurance law. I would say the questions were slightly difficult. Why? Firstly, there was they were not asked from the Barrett like Barrett simply the section number or uh, which section which uh, what is the name of the section. This these were not asked. The concept behind it was asked. There were practical questions before you, you need to answer like where there was a uh, I remember there's a dishonor of check there was a question over there and a factual matrix was given to you you need to answer from the, based on those factual matrix so I would say the questions on these are like transfer property law contract law a uh, company law and making insurance law were on difficulty and you can see over here the number of questions that was asked average qu number of questions that were asked from each respective subject in contract law, the questions were not from uh, partnership and LP were not there this time, and but there were questions from sales of goods and, and specific real effect. The very simple question was there from specific uh, about specific performance, and from sales of goods like also the question was uh, slightly easy only. Coming to the descriptive essay uh, part, here there were three questions this time. First question was importance of agriculture insurance schemes, second cultural richness of India and diversity of India. So among the three, you need to answer any one question fifteen minutes. The answer should be in around 150 words. So in 15 minutes, in 150 words would be around 4 to 5 sentences or you can say maximum 6 to 7 sentences. So the time was enough to answer this, this question. You need to just write a small para on this any of the question. And after completing the previous two sections only, this section starts. And you cannot go back to this previous section. So this is how the exam was connected this year. We ex according following the trend of the previous years, we can expect the result of this written examination to be uh, declared in next 20 days approximately like last year going the uh, dates of the last year and the cutoff uh, uh, would be around above 100 definitely so this is all about this examination if you have any questions please put down in your comment box thank you